Okay, we're rolling, says my son, the uh, new amateur photographer. Okay, yesterday we uh, used a palette knife and put colors on. Okay, and I showed you how to do that on top of gesso while it was wet, plus this green. This is yesterday's piece embellished. Uh, it takes me hours to do something like this. For, so for you to watch me do this would be an incredibly long video. And at this time, with the few subscribers that I have, YouTube won't allow that. So I go in with my markers, with my crayons, with pencil, you name it, and I start to mark. And a lot of times I will overly mark. I'll go in and I'll put too much information, okay? I just start, these are Posca markers to embellish. Okay, that doesn't show up very well. So I'll look and I'll decide, again, on the fly, how about the green? I can put the green in the way I did yesterday or I can add a variety of greens like this, okay? black, you know, whatever floats your boat, okay, and start to change the geography of the piece, and then I have other pieces to work off of, see, I start to see shapes, and I can fill those in with additional marks, and I mark the living daylights out of it, okay? So I overemphasize. I call that, I go in and I gesture. And then I sit back and I look at it and I have too much information, or if I like that much information, I keep it. Or I go back in and I obliterate or I erase. And in this case, I'm using the gesso to erase. And I'm starting to change the outside shape and the inside shape of the piece. Okay, now that's very simple, and I'll show you very quickly. Um, sometimes I use a palette, sometimes I don't. Okay, um, since I dripped here, I'll go here. I don't do anything all the time. Uh, I think it's really good to learn certain rules, but I believe that rules uh, should be called tools so that you don't get locked into a box the proverbial box, all right? So I don't always do anything all the time. I could do this with black. I could do this with any color that I fancy, and so can you, okay? The only one that limits us is us. So say I go in here even. I might like this, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to obliterate it. I can always put it back in. See, nothing is, you know, irreparable. And uh, I'm not going to fall in love with love too soon. And what I mean by that is a little area, I'm not going to allow a little area of my artwork to dictate what I'm going to do with the rest of the piece just because I'm going to save a part of it. Because then I have no unity. I have one glowing little area and I might think it's wonderful but everything else suffers as a result of it. And if you don't have unity, no matter how skilled you are, how many beautiful marks you make or colors or dazzling moves, you don't have a cohesive piece of work. And that's what I'm working toward now. So um, as I obliterated, some of this might be dry. I might go back in with a variety of my markers with a, a, a simple pencil, okay, and I might find other things. You see how these are here? I might enhance that. See, that becomes my new vocabulary. I see that. I see that. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of gray here. Maybe I'll enhance that gray. And, uh, and then I might pull it through the whole piece and make it deliberate. Okay. Same thing with down here. And so it really is a process of discovery. 
of gesturing and obliterating. And um, I'd like to spend more time working on this in front of you, but I think you get the gist of it. We start out with this, okay? Not much ado, don't worry about it. Start going in, make marks with whatever you like, your kind of marks, your vocabulary of marks, and then know that you can always go back in and erase or add at any time, even if you go in with paint. If I want to get that back, it's no biggie, all right? You don't just have to use a palette knife. You can go back in, you can use a brush, and I can get that back to some degree. It might be different, or I can go back in and try to get the same thing. I liked it the way it was, gone. I liked erasing it, but I can add it, okay? The, the possibilities are just endless. And I just want you to play and have fun and realize that as you do that, you're going to be learning and you're going to be growing and you're going to be making discoveries that are unique to you. Whether you decide to share them or not, that, that really doesn't matter. I just wanted to have fun and learn with you. Thanks again for watching.